So what's your name? Uh, my name is Roy Choi. Okay, can you spell that for me? R-O-Y-C-H-O-I. And then tell me what, what we're doing out here, what brings you out here? Uh, we're feeding Whittier right now. Uh, this is our second stop. Um, ever since the world turned upside down, we've been trying to find okay, a way to continue to do what we do um, and dig deeper into our purpose, which is to feed the streets. You know, um, I think in, in the midst of all of this tragedy and transition in life, the good thing that came about it is that it brings us closer to our core as what we are as humans. And it takes away the money factor in a sense. And it and gets us back to our roots of what we're really here for on this planet. It's just like to soak up in the sun, search for food, love each other, procreate, you know, <laughs> that's really it, you know what I mean? So what what is your main objective today in terms of how many people and what you're serving? Well, uh, what's been happening lately is we've been getting donations from uh, loyal Kogi followers, and this donation came from Ryan Tedder and the band One Republic. And really what it is are people are looking out there for something to do to help, and we're a vehicle that can can take that message and transfer it to the, to the people and to the streets. So what we did, what we're doing is basically transferring their love, their donation into meals. And nobody nobody makes money off of this, but everybody wins, if that makes sense. So what happens is the people get food, our staff gets to work, and um, the message of good love and caring gets out to the world, and people get to eat. And so what we're doing is we're feeding as many people as we can with as much food as we can. We originally were gonna do 300 taco plates. There are three tacos per plate. So 300 plates, 1,000 meals, basically more or less, but um, halfway through we realized the line is huge, it goes down probably a mile, mile and a half. So we decided to take our inventory and, and kind of stretch it. So normally our tacos come with two tortillas per taco, but halfway through we're like, okay, let's just do one tortilla per, and then we're stretching it out so that we can double, double what we got. So we'll probably serve over a thousand, uh, thousand people today, cars today, which is 3,000 meals.
Now, obviously, you're taking some measures to kind of keep the social distancing, the thing, yeah. of how, how, so. Well, that's very important right now, you know, uh, but you got to remember that we're one of the essential services in life still, serving food, right? So there, there have been some people that are pointing out, what, what are you doing getting so many people together in, in one area when we're supposed to be apart from each other? Well, as you can see, our system is you stay in your car, you don't leave your car, if you walk up, we have... Uh, I don't know if you get it on your B-roll, but we have six feet of distance between each person. Um, we have orders being taken and your orders put on your windshield so no one's touching anyone. And then once we, so I can see the order as the car pulls up, we prepare the order, drop it off to you, and then take off. So no one is interacting with each other. The car itself is six feet, so you're six feet away from each other and everyone's contained. Uh, we have sanitizer, gloves, masks. Everything has been thoroughly looked at as best we can. Fantastic. And you, you guys did this uh, yesterday as well, is that correct? Yeah, our first stop was San Gabriel yesterday. Today is Whittier, tomorrow is Granada Hills. And then we'll keep it going. We've been continuing to get some donations in. So next week we're thinking about doing something a little bit different and doing drop-offs at hospitals. Um, and then we'll, from there we'll get like, the, third, the third chapter or the third wave of this looks like. Maybe we'll come back to the streets, maybe we'll do uh, something else. I don't know. Fantastic. Uh, anything else that struck you today throughout doing all this? Or, uh, or just, just sing, how thankful? Seeing the families, you know, the smile, seeing the families, the smiles, the need. You know, a lot of people lost their job, man. Lost their job, lost their business. Uh, the biggest, scariest thing right now is nobody has any answers, you know. Um, nobody has any idea how long this is going to go. So nobody has any idea how to prepare. So every meal that can be given, it may not seem like a lot or or the biggest thing in the world to get a taco plate, right? But because there's no end in sight and there's no idea of when it's going to transition or when you can apply for a job again or anything, right? You know, saving $10 now on a lunch is $10 you save when you don't know where that next $10 is coming from. So because of that, I see a lot of love and a lot of a lot of smiles, some crying. You know, it's 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 been an amazing day. Great. You know, and LA loves Kogi. Kogi loves LA. Gotcha. And uh, just confirm, it is uh, can you spell your name of your company, Kogi? Is Kogi, it? Uh, right there, K O G I. Kogi por vida. Gotcha. And then uh, normally you guys do Mexican food, or is that? Oh no, man, we're we're from LA. Okay. So we're a mixture of. Uh, Korean, Mexican, Central American, uh, LA streets, LA life, blue collar, you know, like Kogi. If you look it up, you know, we're a truck that's been on the streets for 11 years and uh, we represent the city of Los Angeles, the flavor of Los Angeles, and the culture of Los Angeles. You know, so it's really not defined to being one thing, you know. Uh, a lot of us are second generation immigrant kids, but really what it is is it's, it, it's an expression of our life. You know, our parents came from a different country, but this is like who we are here. We have no idea what it's like in that in the home country. You know, so this is Kogi is a representation of really who, who we become in that Everybody immigration. Show you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, right. uh, can I get your email more one more time? <laughs> my name is at the end Lord of that. Troy. They call me Poppy here on the streets. So sup, man. See ya. Awesome.